Hello, this is Big Baby, and welcome to this park tour. So this is my Six Flags Park. And since pretty much no one who does Tour Your Park videos is um, on the Wii U console, I'm doing my own Tour Your Park <laughs> of my own park. So that's how I'm going to improvise. So... First, let's go to bed to get ready for the day because pretty good park. So yeah, here's the Six Flags logo. I like it more than um, some of the other people that made Six Flags parks on YouTube because they had like SF and it just satisfies me when it says Six Flags and not SF. So here's the security, you press the button and you go through there, and then here's the scanners to check if you have guns or anything. And there's like the information booth, um, so this is where you would get your like disability passes and other kind of stuff. Here's Speed Demon in here. I pretty much have walkways to every roller coaster that I've built. I only ride the ones that we haven't ridden yet on video. Nice I don't have to worry about length of the video because I have a stand and not my brother this time. So this is like supposed to... I was going to make it a wild mouse because of this and... Then I thought that would be boring, so I just turned it into one of these things, like... I don't even know what it's supposed to be. And there's a giant loop right here. And you go like that. Then you go through the demon's tunnel. Then this is the end here. I still wish I had an Elgato. Things have not changed. And then you would walk that path again. And then, let's see, which one do we, oh. Here's the bathroom right here. That's kind of based off the entrance to Dorney Park in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So this one is called Majesty. It was based off Nitro, roughly. It, um... It's a hyper coaster with no inversions, so that's why I built it in the first place. Because I do have another hyper coaster, sort of, but it has inversions, so I needed something like this for more younger coaster enthusiasts. Woo! Really? Really? This. You want to pull that crap? Really? Okay. So, you get the gist. It would go to a uh, frickin' <laughs> get no. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna try and hop in. This is stupid. No, don't. Uh. Come back. Uh, no. Frick it. I'll stand right here. There we go. I'm back in. That's stupid. It does that a lot. It has to be fixed. And I don't like my roller coasters too much because they just feel similar. That hill works all the time, and all my other coasters' hills work all the time, and they're the exact same, so I don't get this crap. And then you slow down, and you end here. And I made it so you didn't need um, a cactus or a fence to stop it. And here is a real beauty. It's a political roller coaster. So we have the blue side, which is the Democrat side, and then the red is the Republican side. It's a dueling RMC coaster. 
I really like both sides on this one. And it's not really biased because, well, it's not biased toward Republican because every single time the Democrat comes in faster, for some reason they have pretty similar tracks. So I'll ride both of them. I only ride the ones that we didn't ride in the previous video. So you can go check that one out. And I haven't been posting a lot, so you can easily go back to my archives and see it. See, that's like the same hill as Majesty. I really like the fact that you kind of have the ability to do uh, a loop-de-loop -loop and the cobra rolls and stuff. That will be implemented in one of the roller coasters that we'll be riding in this video. So, basically, the feel of this coaster is that the Republican side has, it feels slower, but it, well, it is, but it's only a second slower than the Democrat side. I'm really sorry this is really crappy video quality, but it's all I have. And I really wish I could get someone to do a uh, tour your park. Like, the Buckeye Boy uh, guy. He just launched a series called Tour Your Park. I really want mine toured, but he doesn't have Wii U, so I'm screwed. <laughs> And depending on what day it is, the Democrat side may go faster or slower than it usually does. Because before the first, um, what's it called? Zero G roll. It sometimes goes slow. Okay, now. We went on that, we went on that. Went on that. Okay. Now here's Venom, it's my other hyper coaster thing, but this has plenty of inversions. So that's why I built Majesty in the first place, and I kind of wanted something that looked like Nitro. I really want to go to Great Adventure. I only live about an hour away from it, but I've never gone. Mostly because of El Toro, I want to ride that, so... And this never has any hill problems either. Some of my roller coasters you have to lean, but others you don't. Um. Oh, actually, I gotta ride Phoenix again because I changed that drastically and it looks so much better and it feels so much better. A lot of these you don't have to lean the whole way through, but some of them you do. Phoenix you used to have to, but now I made it automated because it's my favorite coaster ever. <laughs> and then you go slow through here. I'm really PO'd because I don't want to go back to school tomorrow. Because school is awful. Okay, and this is my Vacoma Boomerang. This was a very tough one to build because of the backwards and upwards and stuff, and I still haven't figured it out. Oh, crap. This one you don't have to lean the whole time. This hill you don't have to lean because it's soul sand with powered rails. But then you're going to want to turn to lean for this thing. Woo! Here's my really funky cobra roll thing. Whoa. Oh, we're back up the hill. And, ah, oh my god. This is... Yeah, that's a really crappy ride. 
but I needed a Vekoma boomerang because almost every park that has good roller coasters has a Vekoma boomerang. There's Bengal that was in my last video about this park. And so is Vengeance, so I don't have to ride that again. But Phoenix, we do have to ride again because I changed it drastically. So I pretty much made it so that you don't have to lean unless the ride gets really slow. So you don't have to lean up the hill anymore because it's the soul sand. And I did that because it's a spruce coaster and it blends in. Wee. Uh, this was my first year ever riding this at Knobles, um, so I was really afraid of it for like my whole life, and then I finally got convinced by my aunt to ride it, and it was a really good decision to ride it because it's one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world. It's a fantastic one. So we stayed at Knobles for two days, I think, and I rode it eight times. So yeah, you can see that changed. Then that'll go down the slow hill across. Now it's getting night, so I have to go to bed. I think this park looks a lot more beautiful now that I... I'm setting it up to be opened, basically. So at first I didn't have any entrance or walkways or anything. I was just building the coasters, and then I decided to make it a Six Flags park. Which was a really good decision because I really like the logo. In case you're wondering how I got the little slab effect there, it was just nether brick. At night it looks like black concrete, so that's how I did that. This might actually- oh, no, it's not it. It's not it, I'm lying. Here is the monorail. So this monorail, it'll- take you for well, actually a fly um this is my entire world basically and so the monorail connects every single little district in my world so that that's the monorail there i think um it connects every single district by monorail so here we are in the south and I'll just ride it all the way to frick I can't we'll ride it all the way to east because that's where it ends so there's the military base there's a tank <laughs> there's Bengal and a mansion there's my boomerang Oh, I don't know what name I'm gonna make it. I was thinking about like Cobra or something. It was based off of Stinger at Dorney Park. Oh, that's the, this is the, this is the station here. It's where you get off to go on these stuff because the other side of the park is on the other side of the arena. I toured the arena in a past episode too. really good view of Phoenix so it goes really slow for a while then it speeds back up and this is the other side of the park that's where the hotel is gonna be it has a daylight sensor thing that turns lights on on the sign of the building Oh, we just passed right by that station. That's weird. So this monorail, the next stop is going to be north. That's my school. 
This goes way too slow, I hate it. Then here's a little cobra roll. <laughs> Even though it's meant for the family. <laughs> I'm such a moron. And then it speeds back up on the way to the station of North. Here's North, it leads to my old theme park, which was crap. I'm tearing it out to build some more stores. So the next station is Central. It's my second most populous district. So yeah, this is where a lot of the stores are. It's also where I started my world with my first mansion, well, my first building even. Then this takes us all the way to East. And I don't have a station in West because the park is in West. Well, technically it's in Capital because it's Six Flags Capital Park. But, you know, it's in the West. So I don't need a station in West. So then I think it's faster on the route back. So we're going to ride this all the way to the theme park to close the video. I love my park so far. I still have to finish a lot of stuff though. I'm thinking about building more roller coasters as well. There's the courthouse. North again. There's a Walmart there. You can pretty much tell what the buildings are by the look of them. That's a bank, obviously, a school house. <laughs> okay, we are just about back at the park. There's the hotel. The words capital light up. And here we should stop. Yep. Wow, long video. So, that is my entire theme park, uh, Six Flags Capital Park. It's lovely. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye.